Today I'll be looking back at Gravitar. Gravitar was developed and released by Atari in 1982 and combines elements of asteroids and lunar lander. The object of the game is to destroy the red bunkers and collect fuel as you progress your way through different planets and solar systems. If you destroy all the bunkers on a planet, the mission is complete and you earn a bonus. There's about a dozen different planets to visit broken into three solar systems, and you don't need to complete all the planets to move on. The big red planet is a timed level, where you have to shoot the reactor core and escape to the next solar system. There's also some spaceships that will follow you around and try to engage in battle. The controls in Gravitar have translated very well from the arcade to the PS4. You use the right trigger to control the thruster, the left stick to turn the spacecraft, the X button to shoot, and the shield and tractor beam is mapped to the square. But I prefer to use the left trigger. Some levels the gravity points down, other planets the gravity points inward. If you complete all three systems, the game loops and the gravity is reversed. Complete those three solar systems and the terrain disappears. But very few people need to worry about this, because Gravitar is exceptionally tough. There's a difficulty spike early on, so it's good that you get extra ships every 10,000 points. You also need to keep your eyes on the gas because once you lose all your fuel, it's game over. Even the sound is designed to test your nerves. The vector graphics are sharp, and the planets look ultra-realistic. The camera zooms in on some parts, and on others it doesn't, which can make it hard to see what's going on. Slow motion occurs when the screen is busy, which can both help and hinder you. The solar system functions as a hub or overworld of sorts, letting you create your own path and form your own adventure, so you don't have to keep replaying the same level if you want to see the whole game. Overall, Gravitar is a superb blend of Atari's best work from the golden age of arcade games. What's your favorite Atari Vector Graphics game? Start a dialogue in the comment section, and subscribe to my channel if you want more retro reviews.